A recent officer involved shooting is raising questions about Alabama's new body camera law. The shooting occurred in Decatur near Huntsville when police say a man point a weapon toward an officer after getting a call of a suspect threatening a tow truck driver. Now lawmakers are discussing the bill with some saying it doesn't go far enough. WDHN State Capitol reporter Matty Beer Temple is in Montgomery with the story. Decatur police have said they won't release the body camera footage involved in the fatal shooting of Stephen Perkins while Aaliyah investigates. And under the new law that took effect this September, they don't have to. If they have nothing to hide, release the tape. Bill sponsor Representative Wandelin Gavan thinks they should release it anyway. They should do it because it's the right thing to do. Gavan's law sets up a process for family and representatives of the victim to ask to see the footage by making a written request to the law enforcement agency involved. The agency can deny the request if they say it would harm an investigation. Tommy Cook and Rodney Gordon with the Morgan County NAACP say the law doesn't go far enough. Because if it wasn't for those uh, ring cameras, we would not know the truth. Only thing we would know is what uh, they, they the, say. the police department yeah. said. They say without the doorbell video, the public would be in the dark. They think police video should be made public soon after. Yeah, it should be made public immediately. Yeah, immediately. Um, yeah, so so that so that the law enforcement agencies can be transparent. But it's not that easy, according to Representative Gavan. It took two years to even get her bill in committee. She says she knows it's not perfect, but it's something to work from. Because now the conversation has to stay on the table, whereas you're not trying to get it on the table. It's legislation now. What can we do to make this legislation better? But most importantly, what can we do working together? Now, Gavan says she will be considering amendments to this law next session. However, she says they'll mostly be dealing with protecting witnesses and other bystanders who may also appear in a body camera video. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.